guys, Rob A46 here, welcome yourselves back to the preview build of MotoGP24 on the PC. So last time we did a race uh, around Circuit Americas with Alex Rins on the Yamaha. Now, difficulty wise, I basically forced it to 120% just to kind of see what it was like. Um, however, what we are going to do for... Um, this race we're going to try and build up the um adaptive ai if i can find it right so yeah so adaptive uh, difficulty we're gonna turn it on no that's neural steering right hang on Right, so, adaptive difficulty I've just turned on. Um, okay, it will take a few races to calibrate. So I'm guessing the first race are going to be quite slow. And then as we do more and more races, they should, in theory, get quicker and quicker. If you deactivate it at any point, um, the data on your driving skills will be lost. So you then have to build it back up again. So... Let's uh, keep it on. And uh, we're going to do a Moto3 race. So into Moto3 we go. Um, let's use our custom rider. Um, let's go for... Let's go for the snipers team. Um, and race, let's go around Qatar, so let's do, let's do six laps, we will do qualifying, so we can uh, not have to worry about that, time and fuel is on uh, proportionate, even though uh, Circuit Americas I was able to use power map in three for the whole race, so we'll see what it's like here, right, let's go. So yeah, we do want to do qualifying and then six lap race. Right, let's head out on track and uh, see what we can do in qualifying, see what the AI are like. Like I said, I'm expecting them to be quite slow to begin with, but then build up as we do more and more races. Okay. We have control. Wasn't the best of X's at that final corner because we slid the rear. No one's done a lap yet. Okay, much better run there. I feel like they may, may be... I know this is an outlap for them. I feel like they may be relatively slow. Okay. We will try a Moto 2 race with Neuro AI as well. It's so nice not to have the bike pickup 
like we had on MotoGP 23. Okay. So my first flying lap is going to be a 2076. See if we can beat my own time. We're close to my previous lap. Oh, someone just crashed. Oh, sector four. Okay, track's clear, that's fine. Oh, someone else has crashed sector four as well. Let's hope it's not the final corner. No, track's clear again. Oh, so someone else has gone down. Oh no, I can see a yellow flag. Track's clear. Did we get caught with that yellow flag? We're actually down on time to be fair. Watley and Ogden. 1.7 quicker. Sector 2 for yellow flags now. So I'll try and... Oh wow, they are going a lot quicker at the moment. Maybe the adaptive difficulty starts off on 120% and then works its way backwards, I don't know. No! Bugger. That's annoying. That's annoying because we were going quite a bit quicker than we had previously. Okay. So into the pit we go. Maybe change some tyres and then uh, we'll go again. I 
Right. Let's go for some more softs. Right. Back out. So 2.2 off, but we were going over a second quicker before we unfortunately went off track. Okay, let's go again. Okay, we're good in sector one. Come on. Oh, I nearly went off track there. going to be a much quicker lap. Should move up a little bit. Okay. 0.7 off. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another 0.7 out of my lap, to be honest. So yeah, couldn't go any quicker. You can see the names of the four riders Point seven. access to Q2 on the screen. I mean, actually, to be fair, our lap time, we only had to get a fraction more to get inside the top four. So we were just on the other cusp there. A little bit annoying, but never mind. Times were pretty close. The lights will soon go out to start the race. The sun has set over the Qatar desert. Right. Let's go. Sighting lap complete. It's important to have warmed up the tyres or they could have problems on turns two and six. All up. Right. See what the starts are like in Moto 3. Okay, where we go. That didn't feel like the best of starts. Getting a bit of slip room. At least we're not being swamped. Oh. Oh, wrong gear. Okay. Much better run through there. Oh. Can we stay with this group? Oh, 
Oh, oh, too much curb. Completely mess that up. And now we're picking up a bit of slipstream through here. Yeah, track limits worn in that. It's literally the last few corners is where we're obviously losing time. Oh, they touched the inside curb there. That will help me with the slipstream now. So yeah, this is the adaptive AI. So don't actually know what percentage they are on. Oh, too hot into turn one. Oh, nearly got collected by a bike there. I was very close to being wiped out by someone, someone else's bike with no rider on it. If I can get on the podium, that'd be pretty good. Oh, sorry. That's going to be a warning, surely. No, nothing's come through yet. Are they a bit more lenient with Moto3? The leader is getting away. We can now slipstream Alonso to close back in. They didn't go off track that time. Always a bonus. Oh, the... Oh! Okay, well, that's promoted me to third. Oh, Holgado clipped the inside curb. We have got a warning against our name. Okay. So can we catch Bertelli, who leads? Try and chase him down. The good thing is, because we got no one directly in front, unless anyone's going to come back past me, which could happen. I was going to say we don't have to worry about the lines we take. So 206.3 for Bertelli, fastest lap. Got a feeling that may soon change. I'm not anywhere near close enough to slipstream. He's still pulling away, so I reckon this is going to be another fastest lap from him. Yeah, the gap's just going up now. Oh, 
Oh god, he's just crashed at the final corner. Two oh five seven for Batelli. Point two quicker than me. So he's quicker again. Though so that gap has come down at turn one, although I've really overcooked that corner. So one point seven. Now it's gone back up. You obviously had a bit of a moment at turn one, maybe. Oh. Now I've had a moment there and gone way too wide. I think everyone else behind is getting quicker now as well. I'm still on a personal best lap at the moment. Obviously Bratelli's on a even quicker lap. Okay, we are in trouble now. So we've got two laps. Okay, those two are fighting amongst themselves. 205.3 for Batelli. Yeah, he is really just pulling away now. It's whether I can hold on to a podium. Tyres are starting to move around a bit now as well. They are so close to me now. Oh! The good thing is now... Oh! Just go off track! That wasn't what I was going to say. I was going to say we can use his slipstream now. Fuel definitely seems a bit Closer. For a minute there, I thought the leader had just crashed, but he hasn't. Two oh five three for Furisato. This is it. The final lap. Oh, we've just been hit. Thanks for that. Okay, rear tyre is really suffering now.
Okay, yeah, we're really, really suffering. Can we get past Farioli? They've both gone off track. I'm not that close to them now. Nah, unless they're gonna... Oh! Again, off track again. We've got no one behind me at the moment. Well... Okay. The leader just crashed, so we are going to finish on the podium. On the final lap as well. Wow. The tyres were knackered. The leader crashed out. The Moto3 riders do their call down. <laughs> let's take a look at the final results of the race we've just seen. So yeah, all in the 205s mainly. Patelli, he did finish in 7th place, but should have been a win, but crashed at the final corner. Oh dear. And that is just where everyone else finished. Rueda did not finish or even set a time, so his crash on lap one meant they couldn't continue. But yeah, third place. Not bad. Okay. Job done. To Park Ferme, where the third place rider has just joined the others. Perhaps the aim was a victory, but with opponents like that, there really was little that could be done today. I mean, we were lucky to get on the podium. We were lucky the leader crashed. I haven't messed up my final lap so much. We may have been able to maybe get second, but yeah, wasn't to be. But still on the podium, which is the main thing. Well, the adaptive AI seemed uh, pretty good on that. Apart from the leader crashing at the final corner. Okay, away we go. Go, 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 go. Oh. 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 Bit of contact there. The officials have called the red flag to clear the track. Oh. Incident. Okay, there's been a crash somewhere. So now we have to go again. That's annoying. So yeah, well, I mean, it's good in a way because you can have red flags for, for big crashes. Okay. Um, so Suzuki's got a long lap penalty from that. I'll stick with the soft tyres. So yeah, next time we will try out a Moto2 race. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch and look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you!